Ah, uh, yes, the 14th day of Nerd Period. As if we're not sick of him already. You know, it's really funny that the whole uh, the whole time during 14 days of Nerd Period 2, I could not see myself completing 14 days of Nerd Period, and I could not see myself not completing it. It was so freaking weird. And the also the weirdest part is day one felt closer to day 14 than day seven felt to day 14. It's just a whole crazy whack mess of shit. And you know, I'm gonna cut myself some slack for the 14th video since, you know, last 14 days of Nerd Period, it was 13 days of Nerd Period. Let's be real. Uh, I did not complete the challenge. I, w I was a pussy. But for real though, that, that was because a video wouldn't render. So that, that really isn't my fault. But the real question is, did I actually learn anything from 14 days of Nerd Period 2 like I did in 14 days of Nerd Period 1? Now, if you guys don't know, the first 14 days was revolutionary to my channel. I discovered uh making different thumbnails i discovered how to edit videos better if you guys don't know my videos in 2019 it wouldn't be edited it would just be cut but now my videos are like highly edited not highly i wouldn't say that i feel like that's saying too much but now my videos are actually edited in every term of the sense sense of the term I'm retarded. Um, and I feel like I did a really good job on executing this 14 days. I feel like the stuff that I evolved from over time after the first 14 days, like incorporating longer videos. If you guys don't know, around when I was posting 14 days until the, that first 14 days, my entire channel was just filled up with three to five minute videos. I soon realized that I wasn't really proud of. And this 14, and then over time, I slowly switched to like six to seven minute videos up to 10, 10 minute videos and it's not for the whole thing of ad revenue or anything because i don't even make money off of youtube really it's just all all in the spirit of making better content because at the end of the day you know there's so many youtubers that i used to watch and i would watch these videos and i'd be like man this video is so golden but i wish it was longer and i decided to take that extra step to push myself to make a longer video that could still be considered golden now those videos may never be considered golden to anybody but just the fact that i did that and i made them golden to me is what's important and i really capitalized in this 14 days of all my videos were long besides two of them all my videos were long and it was definitely good to start off the summer with something that wasn't like so mundane and boring i was actually pretty excited uh waking up every morning to make a new video in what it felt like the what the feeling felt like was when I made my channel. The feeling you'll get when you were making your first videos as a brand new channel, you'll never feel again. But I feel like this 14 days of nerd period felt really close to what that felt like. And to explain what that felt like, it was like, it was hard, but it was doable. And it was very exciting. And there was times where I doubted myself, like, um, just like I did at the beginning of my channel. There was times where I doubted whether I should upload this video or not. And and I feel like 14 days in Nerd Period, I really got through that and I I really pushed myself out of my comfort So again. Because if there's not anything I learned from 14 days in Nerd Period, which there's definitely like skills I gain, something you'll always get is being out of your comfort zone. And something you'll never do is improve if you never push yourself out of that comfort zone. You know, there's videos I was uncomfortable with posting, that Pokemon video. I did not want to post that video, but I'm glad that I tried out making that kind of video instead of just saying, oh, that was a bad idea. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make up another video idea. I'm glad I tried that and then decided after trying it that I did not enjoy. So I want to spark a challenge with you guys. Since 14 days of Nerd Period did so much for me, I want you guys to try it out too. So here's the challenge. It's going to be 14 days of Nerd Period, but with your channel name, all right? And so what you're going to do is I'm going to give you guys a week to prepare. So today, Today is the 14th um you have till the 21st to prepare for your 14 days and what you're supposed to do is that time period is to like make up your ideas and everything and i don't expect anybody to do this but i would really like for you guys to prove me wrong though because i, I just really want to see you guys prove me wrong so basically what the rules are is it has to be your own content it has to be your own content you can't re-upload anything um you know my friend danny does that face gaming 
Danny, man. He be doing that all the time. You gotta stop that, Danny. You have to make your own content. The videos have to be at least a few minutes long, no, no shorter than three minutes. And just mainly make your own videos and have fun and struggle because the fun in this is in the struggle and then coming out of it as a better content creator. And what I will do is the people that did finish the challenge, which I hope I don't think is going to be anybody, but I would love to see you guys prove me wrong. I will make a video after the two weeks are up and I will make a video reacting to all of your guys' last videos and I will upload it to my YouTube channel and I'll shout your guys' channels out at the beginning of the video. And yeah, that will be really exciting because it's something the community can all partake in and enjoy. Also, I want to give a quick thank you to everybody who reminded me of 14 Days of Nerd Period. You guys are the real ones. Um, like uh, Ghost, for instance, a licensed ghost. He a few months ago, I remember he tweeted at me. He was excited for 14 Days of Nerd Period too, and you know that that alone fuels me so much on making this happen something that's so important to me is your guys's comment um it doesn't even have to be like a, a positive comment like ooh, good video it could be just like you saying some random shit and it'll make me so happy and i'm glad that we can have a community together and yeah just i'm so happy the to, to have done this again um i can't wait for the next one i'm just so happy thank you all this is all the this video goes out to you guys and i really hope people do um because i know there's a lot of small youtubers that are smaller than me and my, <laughs> my channel's so small you can basically call it my penis i really hope that you guys uh complete the challenge so i can shout you guys out don't let me down so yeah basically the rules are videos have to be at least three minutes long it has to be 100 percent your content and it starts on the 21st and ends after 14 days so you have to upload your first video on the 21st so yeah guys i had a fun 14 days in nerd period and real quick i want to give a quick shout out um i'm probably never gonna shout this out again besides i'm gonna do it once on my twitter and instagram and stuff but shout out to my second channel because i am going to be shit posting posting on there all the time. I actually have seven uploads lined up on that channel right now. Not seven, it's less than that, but like I actually have a lot of uploads scheduled for that channel. Um, so it's called NP Center. You can find it in my community, my channels tab, or just go in the um top comment or top link in the description and it'll be there. But anyways, guys, I enjoyed 14 days in Nerd Period. I'm sorry the 14th video couldn't be too much, but I wanted to make a video reflecting on this because it's easy, it's stress-free. I'm just talking to you guys you know it's it's talking so yeah guys i really enjoyed 14 days in nerd period too and i'm looking forward to the next one thank you guys for watching and i love you all i'll see you in the next one peace